Your voice sounds like a rich porn star. Ooh, a lie. Why are you talking about my past life? Right? Some of my closest family members start dealing with me a certain type of way because of my money. That shit hurt me. Relationships, because I don't sleep around either. I don't do that. That's why I don't let nobody play with talking about pussy. You never hear Shensia is a sleep around kind of girl. i rather... Would you be with a poor man or a rich man? As I said, the, the way how this album came out, majority of the shit that I personally did not want happened. And that's why I said it was such a turn off for me. But the next one, it will put, you're gonna see the difference. When I get to do what I want to do, it's a difference. JPB Entertainment Feed Community, welcome back to another hot update. Before we jump into this one, guys, please ensure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And please ensure you hit the bell when you subscribe. So today we have Shensia. She went live on Instagram and she vent a whole lot of things. Like she let it all out. No, like she never hide anything. She never got around no corner. She talk about her best friend steal from her she thought what um family members uh, treat her away because she start accumulate certain money she thought about um the type of men she like she thought about she clear up if she's single or not because people that say how oh, she and london and the track um are together and this confirms that she's not with him or whatnot also was sincere a peace star i'm not going to say the word because they know um youtube and them thing but let's see after the intro <laughs> So guys, before we get into the actual live video, you know me, I forgive my opinion on thing because YouTube wants me to speak in my videos, right? So guys, she and Sierra talked about um, our album did flop. Well, she never said flop, but I think she knows it did actually kind of flop because she has said due to how it never go her way and music video for one song in particular out of all the songs one song she ever want it get a music video she didn't want the most relevant song to get a music video and whatnot like all in all what she wanted was not how it um went out as it regards her album so she never get to accumulate the amount of numbers she did want and whatnot and then she has said uh, then she has said like um our next album will be strictly based off her, her opinion, not no management, not no people around her and strictly based off management. And I guess we'll see how it comes. Cause she said everything where she um she put her her mind to and whatnot and she don't take no peep no other people advice from is like it always go perfect. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned for this album, this next album that she's going to put out and then another matter at hand she was addressing was the fact that people within her family was was hating on her because um she accumulates certain amount of money now and like people are trying in her family are like treat her differently and bad at that if one time she did sick and people leave her alone in the house or whatnot guys you're not gonna hear all of that you're not gonna hear evil if she was a peace star you're not gonna hear when our best friend steal from her and I gotta hear all that guys just stay tuned and watch the full video guys you know don't want to miss out certain things if you're not here the part when you want to hear and you just skip that part is in skip to that skip to an next part skip to an next part is in so guys enjoy the video ensure you like the video comment and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell comment it opinions your opinions are always appreciated on this channel guys please ensure you drop your opinion right so let's get into it
Hey, babes. Oh, my God. Mm. No, sir. Me? Tired. Bad. I am so tired. And I can't stop sleeping. You hear my voice? All I know is... At some point on this tour, y'all are gonna definitely have to help me to sing these songs. You hear me? Cause this voice is going. And as usual, I don't want to cancel any shows. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> it's been a while since I came on live. But the truth is, I haven't really had much time since lately. I've been doing so much work, bro. Jesus, work? I kill me. But I love it, though. But when you don't see me as much on here, just interacting with my lovies, it's because I'm working twice as hard. London is this week. And in London, I need a hairstylist, a good makeup artist, because I don't, I don't want to do my own face for my London show. And I think I want a designer to, to style me for my London show. I have stuff, but I don't, I don't, the stuff that I have is like, I want to try something different. Uh, new music after tour. Yes, I'm working on it in the middle of tour. But damn, the shows are killing me. Because it's like, if I get one off day, I have to rest my voice for that day. No, sir. I must eat gum go. <laughs> Yang Chao, Wagwan. So tomorrow I have Pride, New York City. I'm here in New York. Then the next day I leave to go to Croatia. And then after Croatia, I think I have. I don't even know why I have one after Croatia, you know. Mm. Yes, I'm going to be at Reggae Sum Fest in Jamaica, July 23rd. After Croatia, I may have somewhere else. I remember. Oh, no, Germany. I have Germany after Croatia and then London. Yes, this week is going to be stupid. Pfft. No sleep for the wicked, okay? None. Rajiro is not here with me, Rajiro. Rajiro wanted to come on tour. I was like, Raj. Me can't even manage tour life. You worse can't manage tour life. Raj can't manage tour life. No. So, I was really thinking about not shooting can't anymore video because there has been a lot of things that that's been going on with me behind the scenes, right? Like with the release of my album, I have been dealing with a lot, guys. Enough. Enough. But since I've been on tour, that song has been going so crazy so i'm really wondering if i should shoot it still even though i feel like it's a little bit late because remember when i shoot i have to wait until it's edited and i have to go through and approve every single thing before i put it out
but I'm really reconsidering it just because I always want to still you know, fight for shit that I want regardless of what I'm going through. Vlogging the trips, man, I don't even have time to do that. That's what I'm telling you. It's like, yes, I do look tired because I am fucking tired. My blood clot tired. My tired. You need your voice? So. <clears throat> yes, the whole album is very much hard to shoot. It's hard to shoot because of a lot of shit that went down for releasing my album. Do you know? Like, I worked so hard on this album. I worked on this album for three years. And then now I finally drop it. I can't even get to do what I want to do with it. Personally. But, I mean... I'm I'm wondering if I'm stuck between because I've worked so hard for it, I should still keep going with it. Or because I've worked so long on it, I want to do more like more new music and and and, and you know, move on from what I've been going through. You know? I'm stuck between. So it's like, mm, I would say a quarter of me wants to still fight. But the three quarters is like, I want, I really want to make new music because I'm such uh, an artist that just, I don't like to just rest. <laughs> I like, I like to make new shit, new music because I get bored fucking easily. The album is three months to y'all, but it's it's four years to me. Literally. I love all the songs on my album. I love all the songs on the album. I swear to God. New album, please. I'm thinking about releasing a new album, too. I don't know. But my new album will be nothing like my first absolutely nothing nothing yeah alpha alpha's been doing great though like the thing is i haven't even shot any video really and and on tour y'all know the songs like crazy so I'm wondering, like, do I really even need to? <laughs> do I need to shoot anything? <laughs> In all honesty, because I feel like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. <sighs> but my next piece of work is going to be everything that I want. Like, the first album, my vision wasn't really executed properly. And that was a turn off for me. Because it's like, yo, I know what the fuck I want. And when I don't get what I want, it turns me the fuck off. And I don't mind if I don't, you know, like put a certain effort in certain shit no more because I know that I can put effort it to make shit right in my next shit you know if you get what I'm saying no I'm not really okay but I'm gonna be okay though 
I'm gonna be all right. Because one thing with me, I do not fucking stop. I'm gonna give up. I just don't stop. And I'm never gonna stop until I get what I want. I'm never stopping. Sorry, I was already in some food. <laughs> so yesterday was my mom's death day. And... Do y'all remember how fucked up I was when my mom died? Jesus. Ever since my mom died, I have not been the same. Literally. I can say that you guys are definitely right. It does get easier. Don't forget it though. Still the worst day of my life. But to anybody that lost a parent, like, it really does get easier to deal with. It's been, what now, three, two, two years? Yeah, two years. It's been two years. But the effect is still there. But this, 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 this time, last year I had to throw myself fully in work. Fully. And that, I wrote forever balling on my mom's death day. With you guys. Yesterday, I think the people around me tried everything for me not to be sad. And they occupied my time. Jetting. So yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to read what y'all saying, but it's just shit's moving so damn fast. Go to sleep. I just woke up and I'm still tired. Why did Are You That get a music video of all the songs? Was not my decision. That's why. As I said, the the way how this album came out, majority of the shit that I personally did not want happened. And that's why I said it was such a turn off for me. But the next one, it's poor, poor. Shit, you're gonna see the difference. When I get to do what I want to do, it's a difference. I've been doing what I've always wanted to do since the start of my career. Until last year. It's not happening again though. Big up. KT Marie 11 over Singapore. Oh, Jesus, that's far. Mm, I've never been to Croatia. I'm coming to Croatia this week. I don't know what to expect. I've never been to Croatia before.
my ear. That is why I I feel like I wanna most side of me wanna move on to new music because shit did not happen the way I wanted it to. Like I wanted things to happen with certain songs. And I wanted to push certain songs differently. And I didn't really get to do that for myself. And I don't like when people feel like they can tell me what to do. Or control shit that's happening with me. I hate that. I don't I don't fuck with that shit because no. So once I start feeling like that, I start to do it like this. Take myself away. And when I want to do something, you feel the difference. You feel the impact. You feel, you just, my, and the weirdest thing is, when I do shit that I want to do, that's the time when my shit things, like, they really gravitate to shit more because they feel that energy. I don't know how. Yeah, I love my album. I love Alpha. The execution of it, though, was not the way I wanted it. But, you know, you live and you learn. And one thing with me, I don't repeat the same mistakes twice. That's a fact. I do not. Once I do something and they, and you know I will turn and go because you're giving it a hundred percent. That means you're going all in. You get me? You get it. Like people need to leave the artists, let them do what they do, man. But but you have some artists that they go with what people say and they continue going with what people say while you have some that learn you know I'm one of those persons I'm one of those artists like, not, yes it's the politics I not like the blood clad politics when it come to my music I not like it I don't like it If anybody had told me, if anybody had told me that this, that a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes, artists go through it and it's normal, I, I, I think they would be like, Run your what is it? Run your own craft and not make nobody run it for you. That's facts. I've always been doing shit the way I wanted to do it. I don't know why in the world I allow people for have a say in my shit. But not a blood clad again. If I not I'm again. Label have you handcuffed? Nah. I think my label treats me really good, to be honest. Well, better than how other labels treat other artists, I would say. Labels will be labels. Oh, hmm. What do you think about the abortion bill? What if you think? I don't even know how how does she even how people even think that oh they haven't even think about that period. If you even come talk about it and pass a law about it. That's the dumbest shit ever.
dumbest shit. I've never seen anything like that. What about people who can't take care of kids? Yaga said they're not supposed to have sex. Yeah, fuckery. I'm not even gonna talk about the, the one that will get raped. That's so dumb. But I think that it can be stopped though. Only way I think it can be stopped is by uniting, of course. That's the only way I think it can change. Like, I have to be like really serious about it. I don't know how people can tell you what to do with your body. I know who even allow that shit. And why people feel so comfortable with passing laws like that? I Man, I understand. How you even be so comfortable? What do you think about Nigerians? Ah, y'all need to hurry up and get me to Africa. That's what I think. <laughs> the reason why I haven't um, visited Africa yet is because majority of the person, the promoters, they don't want to pay my fee. And I know how big my show is going to be when I touch the Africa. So why not just pay me my fee? I'm never going to take less than what I deserve because I'm a woman. No, you're bright. Pay my more money so I can come to Africa. Literally, that's the problem. I've been wanting to come to Africa. But no. Nah. I know my impact in Africa. I'm not coming there for less than what I deserve. So... I'm not going to let nobody down pay me. I work too hard. So that's why I haven't visited Africa yet. And if I do come there, I'm coming there for vacation. Literally. Because I really want to go. So I will take myself and get up out that bitch. But don't feel like you have to come put me up on a stage. Because, oh... She's already here in Africa. No. It's not happening. So if it takes too long, I'm definitely coming over there. Because I want to see the culture. I want to go to the wild. Because <laughs> y'all know I love animals and shit. And I want to taste the authenticity of the food. Just being there instead of going to like African restaurants around the world. want to taste the real the authentic spice the cuisine I want to taste the real thing from the real African hands so don't ask me when I'm coming to Africa ask the promoter them or if they take too long, I might throw my own show down there. That's another option. Because I'm definitely coming one way or another. Which lash is bigger, left or right? Shut up. ATL, Jacob, ATL, Jacob. How your teeth alone so white? Because my brush my teeth regular. I don't play with brushing my teeth. I don't like bad breath. Bad breath is a turn off for me. And it makes it worse if my breath is stink. I be wanting to fight myself. I have to brush my teeth. I walk with my toothbrush and my mini toothpaste everywhere. The only thing I'm missing right now is a floss. And that's because I can't find it. I need to get back one. But my teeth, I take care of my teeth. Period. Trying to get married. Hmm. 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 
don't know. If I find if I find a person that is like they're you know, they make me feel like they love me even after three or four years, like they still give me that feeling. You know what kind of feeling I'm talking about. Then yeah. And if they prove to me that, you know, they're they willing to work as a like real life partner, then yeah. I think marriage is all about partnership. Like it gotta be your next half. So if I find out, yeah, we'll get married, but if not, I mean I don't mind <laughs> for real. I really don't mind just going through relationships because I don't sleep around either. I don't do that. That's why I don't let nobody play with talking about my pussy. You never hear Shensia is a sleep around kind of girl. I'd rather go in relationship. No, I have to get to know you. Know you and be with you. <laughs> mm. And and what I don't like too, especially like females in the industry. Majority of y'all judge the females in the is industry because they are famous, so you get to see who they were with before, and then who they are now, who they're with now. Then if it don't work out, you think they're who happen. If it's a relationship, it's different. If you just see a girl just like hooking up all over the place then that's different too but if it was actually a thing that they're in a relationship with someone like i always tell people don't listen to them people fuck out of here if you're not happy in a relationship and people know about you guys leave and go find somebody else <laughs> and if y'all famous to the point you can hide or can hide or something that's fucking fine too. I hear business. But why are you going to stay in a relationship if the person don't treat you good to stop the public from saying you're a hoe? Call me a hoe with capital letters. Are you dumb? I'm not staying with no nigga who don't treat me good. And if I can keep shit under the wraps, I'm keeping it under the wraps. <laughs> Facts. Because, you know, don't stay with no man when I treat you good. And I work hard to get my own money, so I don't even need to be with niggas for money either. The respect is what matters to me. And the love and how you treat other people. Like, girls, if people want to call you a whore because you leave a relationship, I'm going to the next one. And after that, you leave that one, it's one going to one next relationship. That's fine. Let them call you a whore. Because what about it? They, they, the people who are calling you hoes ain't the one that's in a relationship dealing with what you're dealing with. Leave. Who cares? Literally. Would you be with a poor man or a rich man? I've been with... I mean, nigga who don't have more money than me. I think I was talking about it on my Twitter. And the the person got mad every time they see me in my Louis clothes. They got legit mad. Like, oh, why you have to be Why you have to be dressing like this all the time? I was like, nigga, something if I look good, I want ya I what kind of we yes man this <laughs> I had to leave. I get up. I no say me not do that again. Me not do it again. I did not do it again. I said that you know what? I work hard. I want somebody who works just as hard or twice as hard. I want to feel loved on special days too. I want to get nice gifts, you know, because I I give nice gifts. Like when when I'm with somebody, I treat my person 
good. So my person gonna treat me back twice as good. No. So after that, I said that you don't have to be like the richest person, but you gotta have money to a point where you make me feel good because I'm not the richest person, but I have money to a point where I can make my significant other feel good too. That's what I want for myself. I don't want to be oh, spoiling a nigga who can't even get me a nice gift for my birthday. No, it's that's off balance and I'm a Libra. I got to be very much balanced. So if I was broke, you know, I, I, I was broke at one point. So I got with a broke nigga. I was cool. I could get a rich nigga. That would be cool, too, because it really depends on whatever the hell I want to do at that moment. But now that I've worked so hard to upgrade myself, I want to be with somebody who works as hard to upgrade themselves, too. Yeah. It's not all about money. Because, as I said, I don't have to be with the richest man ever, no. But that should be a part just because I want to feel good on special days or whenever I'm going through something. Like, if you know, guys know me that I work so freaking hard. I want a nigga that can say, yeah, yo, today's your day off. Go to the spy. Book something for you there. <laughs> But what matters to me the most is respect and honesty. I love an honest man. The honesty and the respect is everything for me. Because I cannot be with you if I don't trust you. I have to be able to trust you. I am very honest. I am so honest. One time... A nigga cheated on me and I found out. And because I'm faithful as shit, right? I was like, oh, hell nah. We either gonna have to make this even or I'm gonna have to leave you. He said, I right, fine. I don't want you to leave, so go make it even. But he didn't believe me that I would make it even. So I cheated on the nigga back. And then I called him and I told him that, yo, my nigga. I'm not the type that's going to be sitting on shit with my conscience. So I'm just letting you know that, you know, I cheated. <laughs> I am very honest. Very. I am stu I am so honest. Like, bruh. Everybody around me can tell you that. That's my number one trait. You can count on Shensia to tell you the truth. And those are the only type of people I want to get with too. Like I like honest people. I like when people keep it straight up real with me. But to be a cheater though, I'm not, no, I'm not the type to just cheat. I can't do that shit. If I cheat on you. It's because you cheated on me and it's because I can never see you the same after you cheat on me. Because I know I'm so faithful. It's like when I think about you giving your stuff away to somebody else, it's just like it turns me off like 60% from you. So after that, it's like I can never have sex with you the same. I can't look at you the same. I'm not attracted to you the same. You know, I'd rather you tell me that you like somebody then you you go cheat on me like at least let me you know <laughs> give me a heads up god damn it and if i stay with you after you cheated on me that's a uh, one chance to make shit right. That's the two chance to know that psh, 
I'm never going to be the same and you have to get me back to a certain point. And, you know, casualties are it could result in me doing the same to you. You know, that's the only way. But if I find out that you cheat again, it's over. Uh, easily. I don't do that shit. I'm so real. You can literally come to me with anything. Anything at all. That's how I am. But trust is the number one thing to me. I feel like when you can't trust your partner, it's hell. It's hell if you can't trust your partner. You become insecure. You start to assume things. You know? Well, personally for me, I, I, I can't be with somebody unless I trust them. And if you fuck that trust up, you got to work mad hard to get that shit back. Because if you don't, we're never going to make it out. <laughs> and I wouldn't say communication. Oh, yeah. I would say communication is is the key because you have to communicate with your partner in order for you to even trust them. But my go-to are like, sometimes you might see some rich ass nigga and my, I'm telling you, they're not shit. <laughs> Why? Why would I just be with a nigga for some money? I work so fucking hard for my own money some of these men that got mad money really treat women like literal shit do you hear me and some of the women put up with it because of the money i don't know how and me not judge girl the way you want it for you but that ain't me Your voice sound like a rich porn star. Oh, a lie. Why are you talking about my past life? Or my next life, maybe. Reincarnation. I will probably come back to like something like a porn star for a shot. Wee. Wee, 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 <laughs> ah. but for now the world cannot handle this realness for sure they cannot so I'd rather to just chill but when I do start that show oh child I have so much to talk about. Oh, I'll tell your son thank you. We get stressed when you're not okay. Yo, can I just tell you that I was so fucked up the past couple of days? Leading up to my mom's death day, I was so so stressed out bro not because of that but because of other things that were happening to me like mad stressed out crying praying because I noticed that money really make people change around you you know that shit is so fucking sad right some of my closest family members start dealing with me a certain type of way because of my money that shit hurt me to the fucking core like all i really do is try to help people <laughs> but money is definitely the root of all evil and it's so crazy because if i didn't have money have money the shit that 
went down wouldn't even matter. But because I got it, it's like, yo, that shit's crazy, dog. That shit's fucking crazy. I was so fucking stressed out about it because I was so hurt. Hurt. But I'd rather to choose my money over people who silently don't fuck with me or who are silently looking at me sideways because of what I got. Like, I'd rather choose my own money for sure. Because one thing for certain for me, no friend, no nigga, no nobody, no family member is ever gonna make me go back to broke life ever i'm never going back never so if people around me can't handle my success that is absolutely fine you can go easily without a doubt The thing is with me, I'm happy for people when I see them elevate. But it's like, how is it so hard for other people not to be happy when other people elevate? I I don't see it. I don't don't understand why. Especially if you're close to that person or that person is in your family. How? How can you not be happy? That's weird as fuck. That's weird as shit. Like, I done got friends that really stabbed me in my back. That's why I'm not so friendly. One thing on a cancer about Shinsia, she's so friendly. Me, never. Me's a lone wolf, literally. Just me, I'm a little cobble. And my team members, of course. <laughs> I love my team. Yeah, it is weird for real. And when it come on to friend, and say this me, this me. Yeah, this me. When you this me, I this me. Because me, not trouble people. And not really right for people who I fuck with. So when you this me, you just this me. Can't help everyone. And you know the weirdest thing is, I try to help everyone. I just cannot help everybody at once. Literally, that's just it. And some people will never understand that. They don't understand that you are one person. You cannot do everything at once. What's her sign, y'all? Can she tell my sign straight up the jump? Hmm. I just can't do everything at once, but I really, I really help everybody around me. If I don't do it now, that doesn't mean that I won't do it later. If you can't wait, you're just going to have to figure it out in the meantime. And you know the weirdest thing? If I'm supposed to fall, God forbid, oh child, because we don't want to say that, we don't think about that. Who for help me? Kaka, at them time they have to see me I take up rich man to Ross. <laughs> For a little month. <laughs> For a little month or so. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but for real, who can help me? Which friend, which family member can really take me off of the ground if me for job? Hmm?
literally. Bro, I remember I was literally taking care of one of my family members and them leave me when my did sick and catch COVID. Literally, you're mad. Me not broke my back for nobody. Family are not. Me not broke my back for nobody. Why treat me so? You're mad. You're crazy. Loyalty. That means that shit means a lot to me. A lot. How you leave me when I'm down? When I'm down is the is the time I literally look at you with crystal clear pupil. Clean. I see everything when I'm down. And that was a family member. A family. Me not broke my back for nobody. Or would have brought them back for me. Me, I help one of my bestest friend them forget pan them foot and them teeth from me. Me, I don't better leave me alone. And I, I don't know how much things forget you. Literally, I go through so much. Literally. Anton Rona steal from me after me and LV in her life. I what kind of mad people them here. You see, money, that shit make people change. You hear me, I tell you? Money can change the person who got the money, but money really change the people who are around you because they start looking at you like crazy sideways. For no reason at all, just envy. But one thing for sure, I'm coming out with my documentary and I'm going to write a book on my success from the start or from a kid coming up, you know, and best believe, near my calling on my documentary, near my calling on my book, I'm, t I'm spilling it all like spill milk love. You hear? Because this is true, me no seminar the people nothing. For nobody come deal with me now, yeah. Yes, I'm definitely gonna tell it just as it is. And one thing I do, I don't like nobody. I'm just gonna read about himself and say, oh, fuck up on her is. Literally. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it because I want to inform, form, form people coming up. And inform other people looking on the outside, from the outside looking in that, yo, shit is not easy, you know? Like, me at tell Pauno. One of my friends literally say that they're, they're afraid because I bottle so much in. And I don't let it out. They're afraid of when I actually explode. And it's hard for me to break, to be honest. As a Libra, it's very hard for me to break. But, you know, I don't know if it will ever happen. I don't know. I would not want to see that. Jesus, that sounds like complete vulnerability to the public. Not a blood clot. See who cry. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. I mean, one time y'all ever saw me crying, that was when my mom died. Apart from that, who? Oh, prefer take that shit to the grave to Ross. <laughs> How do you feel about Leos? I think Leos are liars. Liars. And they and they have a anger issue, bro. They have an anger problem. Leo's Jesus crying. Mm -mm. 
I think they're cool, but they're just liars. And the other side is their anger is crazy. Males. I can't speak for the male because, you know. Virgos, Aries. Aries are self centered as fuck. That's how I feel about Aries. What are you mixed with? I'm mixed with Korean. My mom is black and my father is Korean. Straight Korean. You know the weirdest thing? I don't know my dad, but it's not like I'm even. You know those people like, oh, I wish I knew my dad. I wish I knew my dad. I don't feel that way. I don't know. I don't feel that way at all. I heard that my dad used to have money. And he used to buy my mom a new dress every single week. Like, he used to spoil her. But he was in some drug shit. And that's how he ended up in Jamaica. You know, he was in a gang. A Korean gang. And he left when my mom was six months pregnant, they said. And then my family migrated from country, which was St. Elizabeth in Jamaica. So I don't even know if he came back like a year or two after. But he had to leave for business. Maybe he died. Because <laughs> I heard that he was not the leader of the gang either. But I don't feel any way because I felt, I feel like how I was raised, it was meant to be. What if he got money and I would grow up like a spoiled bitch? I don't want to be a spoiled bitch. I'm happy as, I'm happy the way I am. I like the fact that I'm so real and I deal with people the same, everyone on the same way. My body naked. Hola, no? What kind of man is a compost in my room? Hola, no man? Eh? You want you want people fight you? Yeah? Oh, eh? Alright, let me bring What is? That's uh, some clothes that um Oh you know, alright, cool. I don't know which one is which, so let me go to Jerry and come back. Soon come. Alright, cool. All right. Look all the man was busting in my room after me, me not having a clothes. <laughs> But it's not a case where it's like, oh my god, I need to, I want to meet my dad, whatever. I mean, I know, I mean, I feel so. I don't feel so at all. The only thing I'm mad about is that my mom died. You know, I hate that. Did you see a pick of him? Yes, I saw a pick of him. That nigga was a smoker. You hear me? That Korean, he was fully Korean, I'm telling you. Fully Korean. Like a real tiny man. And in the picture, it was a picture with him and my mom. And my mom then got with a man who I knew from when I was young. And he tore my, my daddy picture up. <laughs> I don't know why. He tore the picture up. I just rem I just remember that. He had a, you know, Chinese features, looking Korean features. And with a pack of cigarettes. Sitting on a chair. On the barbecue. It's what you call the big spread that they put pimento on to dry in the country. He tore the fucking picture up. He tore the fucking picture up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, I was like, yo. Why, why you do that for? <laughs> Never saw that picture again. And that was maybe like the last time I saw that picture. <laughs> Man said none of that round here. Oh my god. 
do you speak korean no i don't like his family is the only that side there and i i don't know him so how am i gonna know him family talk about all this in your documentary please hmm, i might i feel like i want to base my documentary based upon um just what i've been through in the industry and what i did and had to overcome to get here or to get further because i'm not gonna do my documentary now i'm waiting until i achieve you know like the success that i want that's when i'm gonna do my documentary because after that Right now, for me, it's hard work and it's dedication and it's it's passion. When I make it to the point I want in life, then it's just going to be like a plus to just, just do it because of doing it's sake. And I just enjoy it, but I've already accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Why not the black bag? Uh, the water. Oh. And Thank you. How much? Uh, forget. How much money? Hundred. All right, cool. Send me back. Cool. Boom. I got some. What? How far wings this? I don't know wings. No, sir, I must do this. Okay, here we go. Go that out it, guys. I ordered some um, shrimp doubles. No, it's not. It's not just my food. It's not just my food that came to $100. I bought food for everybody. I always buy food for my team. I can't eat and my team don't eat. I don't know how people do that. Why my life I count down? Why does it say one, one minute 41 seconds remaining? Are they going to cut me off? Or something? So yeah guys let me know in the opinions as to what Shensia says let me know down in the comments ensure you like comment and subscribe to the channel guys if you enjoy this video if you enjoy the updates please ensure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell until next time guys i'm out